Hi everybody, I'm Walt Lewis and we're here with another Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Today we're talking about getting a seriously injured firefighter out of their bunker gear. There are several tactics we can use to get them out of a dangerous situation. Check out Pauli Capos and other Fire Engineering Training Minutes to see those tactics. But today we're getting our seriously injured firefighter out of their gear. We brought him out of this dangerous environment to a safe spot, get him to where we need to have to take care of him. As the firefighters begin to disrobe them, they may have to take off their gloves so that they can use trauma shears to cut off the thick gear that encompasses us. Bunker gear is very difficult to cut. It's not our normal clothing, but we have a couple different options. Crash shears seem to be the best, but we've got a couple options available to us. As we make our cuts, we want to try and follow along the seams and go layer by layer. As we can see this cut down here by the foot, that we're able to expose the firefighter and avoid dense material. Another option is a seatbelt cutter you being used on the right leg. Tension needs to be pulled on the material and it has to be done layer by layer. The cuff of the sleeve is one of the most dense parts of your bunker gear and one of the most difficult parts to cut. Something else that's an option is an open blade knife. I would caution against doing this since it's a high stress environment and it's already dangerous to have an open blade in a position where firefighters are working hard and you don't want to accidentally stab somebody. If it's all you have, then it's an option, but crash shears seem to be the best option. As you can see, this takes a little bit of time to get this done, especially with the sleeves. We can open up the coat and look for our points to make our best cuts. We can even tear it open. And as you can see here, cutting through the harness is not so easy. The drag recovery device is a great tool for us to be able to rescue our firefighters, but it's another layer of material that we have to cut. Likewise, the harness we wear in our pants is also difficult. Now likewise, while the gear is being removed, medical treatment would be given to our downed firefighter. We'd be giving them oxygen, or taking care of an airway situation, putting them on the cardiac monitor, and all the other medical care we could provide for them while we're disrobing them. With this technique, you can see pulling tension on the material helps cut it like Christmas wrap.
The way we would expect to find our firefighters' bunker gear is seriously damaged from heat. It'll make it more brittle, but still, as we saw in some of the cuts, we want to go for the thinner material as best as possible. In a time of high stress, we're just going to have to make the cuts that we need to. Anything you can do to make a better cut, practice is going to be needed. And anytime you can get some old bunker gear and try this at your firehouse, if nothing else, have several people try it so you can see what you need to do when the time comes. Hopefully never, but if it does, you can be prepared. So gear like this, anything that's old and unserviceable, put it to use so that you can train and be ready for your down firefighters. Now, if they had suffered serious leg injuries, of course, we wouldn't be on their leg, but this allows us the total option of being able to access their entire body and provide all the care that we need. With fractures and multi-system trauma, we are gonna have to disrobe the person more so than what we can do with just taking off their gear. I'd like to give a special thanks to Jay Blake from Montgomery County Fire Rescue for helping come up with this idea and help pioneer the concept, and also to Municipal Equipment for helping provide the gear. For Fire Engineering's Training Minutes, I'm Walt Lewis. Be safe and take care.